Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn something about airlines pilot training in Philippines. Myself Anjali Tomar, HR Director at Aircross Aviation Private Limited. Pilots have the opportunity to travel the world, seeing amazing places and meeting a variety of people. If you want to spend your days at 20,000 feet, you might be wondering what steps you will need to take to achieve this goal. There is no perfect path to becoming a pilot, but here's a great start to make it happen. Enjoy the journey along the way. It's a long one. Basic qualifications. Educational attainment. College degree is not a requirement for earning the basic pilot license. You can get a student pilot license, that is SPL, a private pilot license, that is PPL, or even a commercial pilot license, that is CPL, with a senior high school diploma. You can take any degree or course in college. Airlines accept from diverse industries as long as they are degree holders. Some airline pilots are suggesting to take non-aviation related courses so that if you have second thoughts about it, you'll have a backup course as well as other career options. This is a very competitive industry and there's no guarantee that you'll get a job even after earning all the required flight hours and licenses. Physical fitness. To ensure that you are physically fit to fly an airline, you'll be required to get a medical certificate before beginning your flight training. There are different types of medical certificates being issued to pilots. Second class medical certificate, that is class two, for student pilot license and private pilot license. First class medical certificate, that is class one, for commercial pilot license and airline transport pilot license. To secure a medical certificate, you have to be assessed by the Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, that is CAAP, Aviation Medical Examiner, that is AME. They will combine the results, and these include the following electrocardiogram, that is ECG, vision test, which includes colorblind test, depth perception test, and Snellen chart, audiometry of pureton, chest x-ray, dental exam, urinalysis, drug test, blood test, or CBC. Common questions. Is there a height requirement to become an airline pilot? Height requirement differs depending on the airline requirements. However, there is no height requirement included in the Philippine Civil Aviation Regulations, that is PCAR. Should I have a 2020 vision? Can an airline pilot wear eyeglasses? Pilots can wear eyeglasses, but a certain extent of degree. But the most important thing is you are not colorblind. Is there an age requirement or age limit to start? In Philippine Civil Aviation Regulation, the minimum age requirement to get a license is at least 16 years old. However, for a career, it all depends on the age requirement of the chosen aviation school or airline company. English proficiency. English is the international language used in aviation. Radio communication is vital in ensuring the safety in every flight. Therefore, if you can't speak or understand the language well, you'll have a hard time following the direction from the control tower. Some flight schools are offering aviation English course for those students who are from non-English speaking countries. Pilot license and career pathway. Stage one, get a student pilot license. This license is issued at the earliest stage of pilot training and the minimum age requirement for student pilots is 16. Requirements to get student pilot license, that is SPL. 
First, National Bureau of Investigation, NBS Certificate, Class 2 Medical Certificate, Birth Certificate for Filipinos only, Passport and Visa for foreigners only, Student Study Permit, that is SSP for foreigners only. The training is divided usually into two phases. First, ground school, and the second is flight training. You will also undergo some examinations in order to proceed to the next level, which is the private pilot license, that is PPL. Private pilot license, knowledge test in Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, that is CAAP. Radio license in National Telecommunication Commission, that is NTC. English language proficiency ELP test in Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines, skills test or check ride with check pilot from Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines. Private pilot license. This license enables you to fly any single engine, non high performance airplane, requiring a single pilot for operation. You cannot use this license to earn any income on compensation. Note, the duration of SPL to PPL usually takes three to four months and you have to build up at least 40 to 50 hours of flight time. Applicants should meet the legal age in Philippines to work, which is at least 18 years old. Must have a private pilot license, that is PPL. You can't apply for a commercial pilot license if you don't have a PPL yet. A total of at least 110 flight hours. This is a combination of the 110 minimum flight hours required in CPL training and the 40 or 50 hours you have earned through your private pilot license for a total of 150 hours. English language proficiency, that is ELP, in at least level four. Radio license, that is NDC, class one medical certificate, pass the commercial pilot license knowledge test in civil aviation, authority of the Philippines, that is the AAP, pass the skills test or check run. Commercial pilot license. The commercial pilot license or CPL holders are usually hired by private corporations and individuals to fly planes for specific purposes such as transporting cargo, performing agricultural spraying, flight tours, or can work as a flight instructor. In order to join in airlines, the commercial pilot license holder should also have add-on rating. Note, the duration of PPL to CPL usually takes six to eight months and should have at least 150 hours of actual flight time. Instrument rating. The instrument rating enables you to fly an aircraft in any weather condition. This is added to a private pilot and commercial pilot license and refers to the qualifications that a pilot must have in order to fly any instrument flight rules or almost zero visibility flight. This rating is also a basic requirement in airline companies. Ground school. Flight is stimulator training of 20 to 30 hours. Pass the instrument training knowledge test in Civil Aviation Authority of Philippines and pass the skills test or check right. Multi engine rating. The multi engine rating can be added to a private or commercial license. This will allow the pilot to operate as the pilot in command in an aircraft with twin engine. The good thing is not all airline companies are requiring multi-engine rating, that is MER. However, it will give you an advantage to have this type of rating. Ground school, actual flight training of at least 12 hours, pass the multi-engine knowledge test and pass the skills test or check right. Stage four, after spending a significant amount of time to earn flight hours and after getting multiple pilot licenses and training, getting hired as an airline pilot is like hitting the finish line. 
in airlines, the pilot will undergo certain type of training, like Airbus type training, a training to provide the pilot with comprehensive knowledge of them. If you get accepted, you'll be working alongside the captain as a first officer in entry level position. However, if you persist and gain more flight hours, you can move up the ladder as captain. This is also the time that you will start to obtain the Air Transport Pilot License, which is considered as the High Civilian License. This guide is by Captain Shekhar Gupta, which will definitely help you to get through and become an skilled. This book is available on Amazon. Thank you.